Bibi Niger's cafe appeals for help over the identity of a brother's killers. On a case that has been tagged a mistaken identity and saw Big Brother Niger star cafe's brother shot shortly after he left the store by unidentified persons in a white Range Rover. Kafi herself was a metropolitan police officer and is seeking justice for her brother. This is very disturbing, but I'll let you guys do justice to this. Mm. Uh, I saw the video with the family yeah. and it brought me to tears. Yeah, I'm it did. It was so heartbreaking. Yeah, it was a lot to take in. Mm -hmm. I, um, when the brother said, uh, you know, two things. When the brother said, um, People know. Yeah, no, yeah, no, he said his family will never be the same again. Mm -hmm. One. And then when Kathy said, Yeah, it's common that a lot of black boys die, but he's it's not just a black, black boy. boy. Exactly. Like, and I think. It's not just a statistic. Yes, and I think sometimes re people really forget that, you know, these numbers are people, yeah. like people that have an impact in a, lot of, a lo in a lot more people's lives. So even with COVID, for example, when you see a hundred and something people have an answer, yeah. and the numbers are small, it's like a hundred and something families and friends and spread those numbers out to people who've been affected by the death. But going back to Kathy, I'm really, really sorry. I really do hope that somebody will say something because I know there are witnesses, but would there be witnesses who will come out and say, I saw this person at this place and blah, 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 especially with the whole snitch culture. That's mm -hmm. why I can't really stand that thing. Mm -hmm. But with the whole snitch culture as well, it's going to be really hard to be able to see that happening. But I hope and pray for closure. And for I'm, I, I don't think you can move on from yeah, that. Exactly. But I don't think you can really have closure from that kind but of But yeah, thing. just a way to just, I guess, mourn healthily. Yeah. Yeah. Even if the killer is caught, in my opinion, it will still be a case of somebody's dead, somebody's gone forever. So there's no way you can ever bring that person back. But surely after. getting the killer yeah. would bring some yeah, type some of closure. Yeah. 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 I think so, for me, what was very interesting was what Kathy said when she said that she joined the police force to try to contribute to, to a change, to put an mm. end to stuff like that happening. And then it's happening to somebody that is a like somebody that is it's not like a cousin yeah our own brother so i i really feel for her I'm, I'm 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 empathizing with her it's like you're a black lives matter activist you're fighting against the problem and then that same problem yeah. that you're trying mm. to shed the light on is affecting like it just brings it a little bit closer yeah. to home and it, I, I i learned a lesson from that actually mm. that at the end of the day it's very easy for you to just stay away from something or stay away from a problem and feel like oh it's affecting somebody else yeah. but then the truth is you don't it's know. not just exactly you don't know at least she was trying to fight against that problem yeah. you can just say oh racism doesn't affect me but the truth is it might not affect you it might affect somebody else that is mm. maybe related to you it just made me realize that instead of once again looking at people as statistics whenever you hear about a problem you need to realize that they are human beings mm. and that is a human problem yeah. instead of just looking at it as something that is vague it's something that can affect anybody it can affect you it can affect your family member so that was just one thing that I took away from the entire story I, I cannot that imagine how she would feel yeah because she recognized the problem she wanted to be a part of the change and then that same problem still affected her family and this That's guy painful. was set to go study it in September, yeah he was a very intelligent boy away. he was a computer wheel, imagine so dying for being wrongly identified talking yeah. about like being at the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. time it's, it's crazy and on the flip side baby niger is trending for something and it was, um, you see yeah. how life is so balanced like yeah. she's supposed to be you know, even if it's video call, I don't think she'll be able to attend those reunions live. But mm -hmm. she's supposed to be talking about lightweight things and Gidoni and, and, and she even all had that a little bit of a drama with the old Bibi Niger because I think they said that they removed her. From Did they? The yeah, from yeah, the from, from the, the group chat. So she already had that, you know, was issue that with or them. Diane, though? Was no, it Kathy or Diane? Diane I think it? it was. I think it was Kathy. I think she already had that issue with um with them, and then this now happened to mm. her. So I, I hope that our big brother Niger co-stars are also, you know, throwing in their weight and being there for her during mm. this very very sad time. I mean, put yeah, away I went, the beef. I went to the put away the drama. Yeah, she needs people. A lot of celebrities are actually behind her, and then they are just um, not just celebrities. Them. The people that no, I, I mean, mean like a lot. No, I'm talking about the people that are really close to her are sending mm. their condolences and you can tell mm. that they're actually there and there's a ten thousand dollar um ten thousand pounds bounty on mm -hmm. whoever catches the killer so this is quite sad and i just yeah. hope that our heart goes out to kathy actually mm, and i just hope um, in this time of um trauma and pain for the family they're able to overcome this even mm. though it's it's a permanent scar but yeah. i just hope they're strong enough to 
overcome this. And I hope they get justice. Mm -hmm. I hope they do. Yeah, that's the very, that's the most important thing. Yeah. So let's move into the next story. R.I.P. to Kathy's brother, once again. Thank you.